scientists wearing someone else's fingerprints. It sounds like something from a sci-fi movie. But at Michigan State University, one professor has made that a reality. Tonight, Fox 47's Brian Johnson looks at some of the scary byproducts of the research and why it's being done in the first place. So it's always a cat and mouse game. For decades, police have used fingerprint recognition technology to match criminals with crimes. Now the technology is in everyday life, like keyless entry systems and smartphones. But is it still secure? There is a need for enhancing the security of fingerprint-based system. For 23 years, Dr. Anil Jain has researched fingerprints at this biometrics lab at Michigan State University's College of Engineering. While we are making the technology more secure, uh, there are culprits find other ways of uh, defeating that. Crooks might steal your prints, plant them at a crime scene, unlock your phone, or break into a building. You could put this artifact on your finger. This is what Dr. Jane calls a spoof. It's a fingerprint copy, and it leaves the exact same trace as the original. The fingerprints have been proposed as a, as a method to enhance security, but the, but the system itself can be attacked by such kind of spoofs. His team is working to keep the technology one step ahead of the criminals. The researchers use this cross-match fingerprint scanner. It can scan up to a thousand pixels per inch. They use that to read the fingerprint and then they're able to print it off using the 3D printer. This is really the first time some, anybody in the world has printed out a three-dimensional fingerprint model using a 3D printer. It comes out soft and flexible just like skin. Each costs about seven dollars. The biggest advantage to having the printer is just the speed of being able to turn something around. The printer can make one fingertip in about an hour and 20 minutes. It does illustrate that uh, security systems based on fingerprints can be spoofed. For now, the printer is too expensive for cheap crooks. It costs $250,000, but the prices are dropping each year. We are trying to use it in a more positive sense. The end-to-end -end fingerprint calibration process is a huge breakthrough. We can now synthetically generate a fingerprint-like pattern in which we know precisely all the characteristics of the fingerprint. Testing the system's accuracy and pushing it to its limits. You could get a really good quality image of the fingerprint artifact from the sensor. It's work they hope will upgrade fingerprint technology to the modern digital world. In East Lansing, Brian Johnson, Fox 47 News. It definitely makes you think twice about your fingerprints and your safety. The research project is funded by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Dr. Jin's research lab is also working on face recognition software that will match blurry partial face images commonly produced from surveillance cameras with clear mug shots in police databases.